Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Janking Off. Today I'll present you Repeated Land Transaction Seal of Oricalcus Log Turbo. So what's the goal of the deck? We try to activate Seal of Oricalcus and then use Repeated Land Transaction to give the seal to our opponent. This will then lock them out of the extra deck. And then we activate a Fire Prison which straight up says that only linked monsters can attack. This way we say that only linked monsters can attack and because they cannot access the extra deck they can't summon any linked monsters to attack with. Um, Seal of Oricalcus also can once per turn not be destroyed by card effects, which is really nifty. Uh, because we don't want our opponent to activate any new field spells, we are playing 3 field barrier. This also protects the field spells that are currently on the field already. And because you can still set field spells on the field barrier, we are playing 3 Denko Saka. Um, we are playing no traps in the main deck anyway, so this is a great card to play in main. Let's jump right into the deck list. We are playing 3 Denko Saka just to prevent our opponent from activating any set cards or setting any new cards. Then 3 Planet Pathfinder to find us our field spells, as well as a terraforming and a set rotation. And the MVP of the deck, we are playing 3 Repeated Land Transaction. Uh, this can just give any really bad field spell to our opponent, and Seal of Oricalcus is just the best field spell to do that, because this just says you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. So we can give them a Buster Lock that's pretty hard to out, because the only way of destroying a Seal of Oricalcus is kind of with a lightning storm, but it's on their side of the field, so they can't do that. Or they can activate a new field spell, but we can prevent that with Field Barrier and Denko Seca. Or they can, like, tribute it away. It's it's really weird to get the Seal of Oricalcus off your side of the field. And the good thing is that this once per turn just cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, then we are playing the three Fire Prison. Uh, Fire Prison is just there to stop our opponent from attacking. Um, yeah, this stalls a bit. You could play pure Fire Prison decks, but uh, we don't do that here. We play Seal of Oricalcus Turbo with Fire Prison. Uh, then three left arm offering just for more consistency because this can find you any spell on the deck. Uh, the bad thing is that uh, the turn you activate this card you cannot set any cards and set rotation sets two field spells from your deck. So these cards kinda clash but set rotation is a one-off so it's completely fine. Then for even more consistency three prosperity, three duality as well as one extravagance. And if our opponent already has a board uh, we are playing three ragaki to break that quite easily. Then a 3 field barrier to protect any field spells already on the field and prevent any new field spells from being activated. A 3 decisive battle of Golgonda. This can once per turn uh, protect any card or cards that would be destroyed by a card effect or battle by sending a fusion monster from our extra deck to the graveyard that lists Fallen of Albus as its material. Uh, one called by the grave because we really don't want to get ashed or jolt or anything weird. And 3 Cauldron of the Old Man as our win condition. In the extra deck we are playing Entus, uh, Garuda and a ton of fusion monsters that list Fallen of Albus as material. Uh, the Entus and Garuda we are playing because in the side deck we are playing 3 Nadir Servant uh, to search an Ecclesia as well as a Fleur de Lis. Uh, this just helps breaking boards going second and uh, this way you can, if they already have an established board, either draw a card with a Garuda or destroy one of their cards uh, with a Nadir Servant. Um, search the Ecclesia, normal Ecclesia and then just get yourself a Fleur de Lis and Fleur de Lis can negate a monster on the field and can help swing over problematic monsters on the field before you slap down the fire prison so that only linked monsters can attack. Uh, then a Dogmatica Punishment, just because we could search this with the Ecclesia and sometimes you have the Fleur de Lis in hand as well, so this way you have another target in the deck for the Ecclesia to search. A 3D Shifter, just if we go second, because we don't need the graveyard at all. Um, 3 Cosmic Cyclone to out something like Anti-Spell or any problematic spell or trap that our opponent might have. And 3 Dark Hole, because when we go second, we don't mind using a dark hole. Um, yeah, let's jump right into the replays. This head is really good, but we got one problem. We are playing against Kashtira, so let's see how this goes. Our opponent is doing default Kashtira stuff, just summons Unicorn, adds a birth, and then for some reason he keeps the Book of Eclipse and Imperm in hand. I don't know, but I'm not gonna complain either. I top deck an extravagance and then I chain set rotation to get field spells out of my deck because I don't want to draw them. I already have good access to field spells with a Pathfinder in my hand and the Seal of Oricalcus as well. And I can only activate one Oricalcus per duel as well, so that's fine. I set a Fire Prison to my side of the field. Then he can banish stuff from my graveyard. This doesn't matter for now, but it will come up later. 
he destroys my extra deck for one card. Uh, this doesn't matter much, but I get one less Prosperity Surge. Mm. Comes up later. Uh, I use Cauldron and gain life points with Cauldron. If you use Cauldron, always gain, gain life points once and then you can start burning your opponent. Then he top decks the Terraforming, activates the Seal of Oricalcus, and then uses the Prime Planet, Parisos. Yeah, that's one way how you can out the Oricalcus lock by just activating a new field spell. But granted, I don't have Field Barrier yet and I don't have a Dinko Saka yet, so he can still do that. Then he can summon Kashtira monsters from the deck, summons even more, finally makes the Shangri-La. And he mills me for three. This is kind of bad because he milled a uh, repeated land transaction. So that's bad for us. But there's still two more in the deck. So that's fine, <laughs> kind of. Now I instant my face. Have to trigger the Cauldron to put a counter on hit. This triggers his Kashtira Birth to banish cards from my graveyard, which then triggers his Shangri La and his Field Spell to give him one pop and one block of a zone. Oh, man, it's so funny to play against Kashtira. Balance deck. Oh, and he gets a search from the deck. Um, I Rageki's board, but Shangri-La for some reason can protect itself by detaching. So he keeps the Shangri-La, but it, it's still fine. I use Prosperity and I go for the repeated land transaction. Uh, uh, repeated land transaction I can use to give him the Seal of Oricalcus. I activate Seal of Oricalcus. This is the only time in the duel I can activate it because I can only activate one per duel. Use repeated land transaction, give him the Seal of Oricalcus and activate Fire Presence. So now he can't attack and he can't summon anything from the extra deck. Pretty decent luck. Uh, then I just dim the deck with Pathfinder for one so that I draw my Denko second field barrier a bit earlier. He does even more Kashtira shenanigans, just summon from the deck, search from the deck, summon from the deck. Yeah. Just Kashtira doing Kashtira things. I think he makes me mill a cauldron here. I got one in my graveyard. Oh yeah. Um, he milled a cauldron here and banished the other one earlier that he destroyed on my field. So I only have one cauldron as I win con left in the deck. Or I could deck him out as well. I'm on 18 cards and he's on 18 cards, but I didn't find my win con yet, so I kind of need to add cards from the deck to my hand. I have a field barrier now, so that's really nice, but I only have one zone in the main monster zone left, and I still need to summon the Denko Saka. He draws an Ash, so even if I left an offering here, wouldn't do anything because you can just ash it, but I top deck the Denko Saka. This was super, super close. Uh, normal summon Denko Saka, and now he can't use the set Book of Eclipse, he can't use the set Impermanence. And his only out right now is either he is use the Book of Eclipse in hand to flip down the Denko Saka to then set a new field spell if he draws one, but it's kind of unlikely. But he top decks the second Book of Eclipse. I try to use left arm offering because this would give me the cauldron of the old man a bit earlier because I'm scared that he draws any any out or something. So yeah. I go for uh, the left arm offering, he ashes it and then he can block even more of my zones. So I only have three spawn trap zones left. I got a terraforming but nothing to uh, search. I got a Dango Saka but nothing to summon it to. And this is just passing, a uh, classic mystic mind behavior. <laughs> and here he discarded a Book of Eclipse. Really big misplay on his side because he's on nine cards, I'm on nine cards. And the two Book of Eclipse could have made me draw cards so that I'm deck outing myself. And he could have outed my Denko Saka to set a prime planet, planet price or so. Right here, he would have had the out, but that's it. Because like Imperm, we can't use anymore because he has to set it before activating it. And yeah, that's it. He still doesn't see that he has the out. I initially, I, I can say that as well. I initially thought that this was his field spell that he has one copy in his graveyard, uh, one copy in his banished, 
and one copy in his graveyard because the artwork looks somewhat similar but I was 100% wrong like he still has a field spell in his hand then I got a cauldron finally he blocks one of my zones and I activate f a decisive battle at Golgonda so this is a protection once per turn here I cauldron to deal damage he still hasn't found out anything. <laughs> he veils us. I can't negate the veiler even though I have a call by him. Search. Now he Book of Eclipses. And he doesn't realize that he can set a card. So this was this was his only out. Like he could have outed the lock, but he didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's mostly just waiting from this point on. He could technically like Vela my Denko Saka and then use Book of Eclipse or something. But yeah. It's just not enough. And now he got even the second copy of the field spell in the sand, so <laughs> can't attack. Oh in the meantime uh, he was asking me, oh why can't I go into the extra deck? Uh why can't I attack? And I was just Read Seal of Oricalcus. Read Fire Prison. It's kind of funny. It, oh, what am I saying? It's kind of funny. It's really funny to bet this deck. Oh, also because he um, he flipped down the Shangri-La with the uh, Book of Eclipse. Uh, the zone lock um, isn't there anymore. So I think I... Oh yeah, I negated a Veiler with a um, with a call by the Grave. One turn ago or something. And yeah. I have uh, one card left in deck, he's got two cards left in deck, so I would have decked out if I didn't draw the cauldron at the right time. <laughs> this game was really close, but uh, <laughs> this is my story of how I beat tier 0, cash tira, pre ban list. Like, this was card pool, OCG card pool, because you do process that this is still an OCG card for some reason. Um, with before the ban list, so this is no bans on Kashtira, full power Kashtira against repeated land transaction, Seal of Ori Calcus Lock Turbo. I hope you enjoyed this replay, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and uh, uh, seeing this deck, and I hope you can uh, play the deck as well, uh, but don't expect results like this every single time. The deck isn't great, it's jank for a reason. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, stay safe and Goodbye.